What's up, students? As you already know, we are starting new unit, lesson number six, which is people and the environment. And first of all, I'm telling you the definition of environment. The environment of a living thing consists of everything that affects it. The components of an ecosystem include living things, for example, the squirrel and also the tree where it lives. Factors of physical environment, such as temperature and rainfall, and also man-made components. Roads, bridges, buildings, any human activity has an effect on the environment, and there are two types of negative effects. The first one is a small effect. For example, collecting branches for your fireplace. Others have much larger impact. For example, the construction of a shopping center. There are three main effects of human activity. Pollution, deforestation and desertification, and endangered species. Let's start with pollution. There are three types of pollution. Air pollution, gases from vehicles or industries accumulate in the atmosphere and retain heat. As a consequence, the temperature of planet is increasing. This is what we call global warming. The second one is water pollution. Soaps, detergents can contaminate water. And finally, soil pollution. Rubbish from humans can contaminate the soil. The second negative effect is deforestation and desertification. Deforestation refers to disappearance of forests. It leaves the soil unprotected against erosion. It also threatens animals that depend on trees. Desertification is the slow transformation of fertile land into desert. It is a consequence of deforestation. The last negative effect is endangered species. Endangered species are living things at risk of becoming extinct. Extinction is the complete disappearance of a species from Earth. For example, panda bear is one of the most endangered species in the world. And this is the end of the lesson, students. Bye-bye.